to one pizza too many. Cooking and unboxing videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel One Pizza Too Many. Now today we are going to be doing another unboxing video. Some might say Christmas has come early, well actually my birthday has come early. Um, my good wife behind the camera um, has bought me an early birthday present. Uh, well she bought this for my birthday but it's come early so uh, I thought let's get it unboxed and uh, see what it's like and um, this is the ninja XL grill the new one this uh, one with the smart probe touch screen and um, so we're gonna get it unboxed have a little measurement have a look at it and uh, see what we think of it straight out of the box so let's get into this but before we do make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, and you can see how easy it is in this little clip grab your phone Head over to YouTube and search One Pizza Too Many. Hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. Hit all and you then subscribe to the channel. Head over to Instagram and follow us on Facebook. So first you'll see it says item number AG551UK. So this is the UK model. Uh, there's one in the box. 10.18 kilo. Um, including all the packaging and um, gross weight of the actual machine is 14.1 so measurements that's of this box for the courier company so we'll measure up once we've got it open so it's got a little uh, knife I'm going to carefully cut through in a box, it is, there we go, these manufacturers love boxes in boxes, Ninja Foodie Max Health Grill and Air Fryer. It says that it's a 200, uh, 2460 watt grill with a hinge lid. Family size cooking area 5.7 litre capacity. Non stick area is 740 centimetres square, so in total. Um, crisper basket 3.8 litre, so that's for like, doing your air fryer cleaning brush digital pro uh, chef created recipe guide well, obviously we can give that a good review on the side it's got how you use it so number one simply selects cooking function and food type from the preset options select your desired outcome from rare to well done insert the digital probe into a bit like we have done on previous videos when we've cooked on the Camado and um, when we've done the tomahawk steak which is a link to just above um, and it alerts you when it's ready so dead easy some little tabs open it up and again it gives you all of the different accessories that you can also then buy extra because Ninja is a brand they, uh, they they know what they're doing. Then in the envelope on the top, okay, you've got a little bit about warnings. So don't place on appliances. A lot of people attempt to put these on hobs because they're nice and flat, especially induction hobs. Don't do that. 
quick start guide. The Ninja Foodie Max Health Grill and Air Fryer book. So a little book on how to cook different items on the grill. It's giving you um, how long it takes to prep, how long it takes to preheat, how long it takes to cook and how many it serves, ingredients and a list of directions. It also says in this top corner if to use the probe, if it's got any um, dairy and gluten. So that's great. And then uh, we've got the main instruction book. Okay. So you can register the warranty and then it gives you everything that you should have in your box. So we'll put all these bits back away in the envelope, safe keepings for now. First thing out we get is a little cleaning brush. Now this isn't a wire brush, it's like a stiff bristle, plastic bristle, so that's so it doesn't damage the surface of the non-stick. Next we have the grill pan with the griddle. You can see it's nicely marked to give you some very authentic sort of markings that you would get on a grill. Take the protective cardboard out. Protective plastic. See it. Like with all of the Ninja products, this isn't a small piece of kitchen equipment. However, I think they have made it look really stylish. Okay, so let's have a little look around first of all. So on the back you've got where the cord comes in and what I do like is they've given us a longer cable compared to what's on the Ninja Foodie Max. So that's good. So you've got a bit more choice of where you want to put it so it's all nice and smooth nice and easy to clean in it tells you about the importance of resting fish and meat on the top and it also tells you how to use the probe so you have to remove those stickers before you use the grill so then at the side I'm just going to take off these little tabs there's the probe on the side then we should be able to lift the grill fantastic so more packaging now one thing I do think with Ninja they use a lot of plastic packaging compared to say Uni who I've used quite a lot in the past that you'll see in a lot of my videos they use quite a lot of eco packaging so we have air crisper basket and we have the basically the oil catcher basket and we have the probe so it says on the sticker on the bottom it says hot surfaces to avoid risk of fire and electrical shock the heating element shall be free from grease and debris cook only if removable cooking pot oh, in the removable cooking pot. Do not add water or ingredients without a pot in place. Only clean with a damp cloth. 
okay and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this sticker Now there is a gripe with the Ninja Foodie Max, in fact there's several. If you look on the video above in the link, you'll see my three things I hate about the Ninja Foodie Max. One of them, one of them being the lid in the Ninja Foodie Max. Now I'd like to report back that this has got a cleanable um, section that you can remove, which is great. Okay. Um, this whole bit here comes out um, and I'll show you that in a minute first of all what we'll do is put the the cup tray in so you cannot cook anything without this in place then let's say you're air frying some potatoes or a chicken put that in so the air gets underneath and it's not sat in the basket or alternatively you can just use the basket but what I would use is the grill and you'll see the grill has a notch cut out and it fits with the notch in the oil catch pan like so so there we have it then probe so the probe sits nicely just tucked away in the side and then when you want it, you just pull it out. So let's have a look. Probe unwinds. And you can stick your little probe holder back in its place. They're on the side here, so this is where the probe goes. It is magnetic, which is quite good. And the probe just plugs in. Then when you lift this up, if you've got your meat in here, the probe would be in the meat, and then you just close it too. And the beauty of this is it shouldn't fill your kitchen full of smoke because it filters it all out in the vent, and there's a vent at the back as well, um, which I think is a really good design. Whether it works, we shall soon see. So let's get this plugged in. So we've now plugged it in and you'll see the little on button or power button has illuminated. So we're just going to press that and then the rest of the illumination panel comes up. So we have air fry, we have roast, we have grill, we have bake, we have reheat and we have dehydrate. So let's go over to grill in the middle. So you can then go up and down to choose if you want it on high, medium or low. So let's say medium. How many minutes you want. So let's say 10 minutes. And you've got probe illuminated. So let's take that out and see. Okay, and the illumination then goes out to say you've not got the probe in so let's put the probe back in back on and then you can either use a preset or manual so if we click on preset it's asking do we want chicken well done do we want fish and it's suggesting medium do we want lamb do we want it rare pork beef chicken Okay, and the same with roast. Let's use a preset to see chicken, fish, lamb, pork, and beef. So it's got all different presets, which is great. So let's press um, let's press manual. So it's now asking for a target temperature of the probe. So it's flashing at seventy-five because generally you want meat and um, if it's being cooked well done to 75 you can then 
lower this down so let's say you were doing a, a piece of um, rare beef you could have it at 45 degrees um, one thing to notice this only goes up in five degree increments I would have liked to have seen that a little bit more controllable um, but hey it's a lot more controllable than my current system so then we press on oh I've pressed off sorry let's start again so grill preset let's do chicken and let's start and it's that usual ninja beat and then off it goes it's on and it's dead quiet compared to the ninja food that I've got that is quite loud when I have that on the grill although this is building up now Yeah, there we go. Let's it up. I'm going to move the probe out. It's saying that shut the lid. And then it knows when it's back shut and you can start cooking again. Brilliant. So, let's have a look at sizes. So across, it does curve in slightly, so across, taking into account for the curve, it's about 39 centimeters wide So the height of the silver bit on the top for the vent is 29 centimeters and overall depth taking into account the handles the furthest point forward so the plug at the back is 42 centimeters to the back then height at 28 centimeters to the height or to the top of the silver part okay now grill size so in between the two handles is 30.5 centimeters and to the edge of the basket itself is 34 and then width is 20 23 centimeters just over. Then we have the frame air fry basket. Okay, the width is 18 centimeters, and the length is just under 32 centimeters. So there we have it, everyone. The new Ninja Grill XL. So the health grill and air fryer let me know what you think in the description below if you've got one of these what do you cook in it give me some recipe ideas that I can then cook on my YouTube channel um, and let me know you know how it's faring up are you having any issues with it I uh, have you got anything that's going really well um, let me know so make sure you do subscribe to the channel and you head over to our Facebook and Instagram page at one piece too many for all the in-between action and gossip and also make sure you do hit that notifications bell to subscribe to the channel until next time and i'll see you cooking something good on this hope you stay safe and i'll see you all very soon one piece are too many